This is the shepherd, part one. Lying in the grass with his head on a rock, sleep was as elusive as always. His mind held him captive, repeating the thoughts he tried to suppress during the day. You are nothing. You have no purpose. You have no value. A small part of him wanted to deny it, but right there, in that moment, it felt true. The shepherd turned over, hoping the rock had some smooth surface he had not yet discovered. But no, he flexed his restless legs. Night watches were the worst. He was constantly aware of every sound, constantly uncomfortable, constantly cold, and exposed to the wind that found every square inch of skin not covered by his meager wool blanket. Sighing, he opened his eyes. There was no point in keeping them closed. His gaze turned upward toward the array of stars above him. So ordinary and unremarkable. How many nights had he spent awake in this field? How many nights had he looked up at these same stars? How many more years would his life have this identical rhythm? Sitting up, he nodded to his friend who sat alert, rod in hand, constantly scanning the hillside for danger. His friend nodded back, all too familiar with the inability to get a good night of sleep out in the field. The shepherd stood. He picked up a lamb, hoping its warm body would keep the wind at bay. He absentmindedly started to walk the perimeter of the field. He hoped, he actually hoped, that he would come across a wild animal to bring some sense of excitement and purpose so he could pretend for a few fleeting moments to be a hero. But who would even care, really? The other shepherds wouldn't be impressed. And who would he tell? He hadn't talked to anyone other than his fellow shepherds in weeks. His life was spent in fields, the same fields, simply rotating between them with the seasons. And on the rare opportunity he did pass through a village, people pretended not to notice him. He was dirty. He smelled. He was poor. And everyone knew it. You are nothing. You have no purpose. You have no value. The voice in his head repeated, ever reminding him of his discontent. This could not be it. The thought of doing this day after day, night after night, year after year, was suffocating. He realized he had stopped walking. He was frozen in his present, a present he feared would forever be his future. The weight of this thought bore down heavily upon him. It caused him to sink to the ground. How fragile his thoughts were as he actually let his mind take over and play out his negativity in full. He stared down at the lamb in his arms. He hated it. That lamb could not encompass his whole life. It was not enough. He pushed the lamb away, craving to be needed by anything and anyone other than that stupid sheep. And in his wallowing, he finally succumbed to sleep. His eyes closed and darkness set in.